The House of Tomorrow. Item number, SCP-1122. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. All roads leading to SCP-1122 are to be sealed off, with two armed guards posted outside SCP-1122 at all times to prevent unauthorized access. No artificial devices invented after 1940, with the exception of any recording devices, which must be worn discreetly, are to be carried into SCP-1122 without administrator approval. All test subjects must be searched before entry to prevent the introduction of unauthorized items into SCP-1122's environment. Description SCP-1122 is an abandoned tourist attraction located on the outskirts of blank. It was originally constructed in 1950 blank as a House of Tomorrow, a demonstration of the then futuristic technologies expected to become commonplace over the following 25 years. There is no evidence that SCP-1122 displayed any anomalous properties prior to its abandonment. SCP-1122's interior is unusually well maintained, and filled with devices that neither existed at the time of the building's construction, nor exist in the present. Among other things, the house has a kitchen stocked with food pills that change into three-course meals upon hydration, miniature robots that perform routine cleaning and maintenance, and a garage containing a car capable of flight. Smuggling these items out of the house is revealed that they do not function outside of SCP-1122. Although SCP-1122's technology is more advanced than modern technology in some respects, it is less advanced in others. There are no miniaturized computers on the premises, and the house's television is of a considerably lower picture quality than its modern counterparts. The house is also populated by a Caucasian family of four, consisting of a man, SCP-1122-1, and a woman, SCP-1122-2, in their mid-thirties, an adolescent daughter, SCP-1122-3, and a prepubescent son, SCP-1122-4. Although persons inside SCP-1122 occasionally witness the family members entering and leaving through the house's doors, no inhabitant of SCP-1122 has ever been seen outside of the building. All four residents of SCP-1122 are docile, and, at the time of their original discovery, perpetually cheerful, and are usually willing to answer any questions posed to them. When asked for today's date, all four residents will claim that it is exactly ten years after the current date. The Foundation originally believed SCP-1122 to be predictive, though this has since been proven false. Their knowledge of history prior to the year 1950 blank is relatively accurate, when questioned about history subsequent to 1950 blank, they referred to fictitious persons and events such as the creation of a lunar colony while failing to recognize real events. SCP-1122's most unusual property was demonstrated on blank 1990 blank when Dr. Blank's mobile phone rang while conducting an interview with the family. During Blank's next visit, he noticed SCP-1122-2 talking on a mobile phone of identical design to his own, which the family has used ever since. Upon interrogation, SCP-1122-1 denied that the phone was a new addition, claiming that he had always owned it. SCP-1122-3 and SCP-1122-4 then complained to Dr. Blank that their mother was too occupied with talking on the phone to pay attention to them the first time any residents of SCP-1122 displayed unhappiness. Whenever a device that was not in widespread household use before 1950 Blank is seen by the residents of SCP-1122, it will be integrated into the house from that point onward, often replacing an original item. Food pills disappeared from SCP-1122 after the introduction of a microwave oven, for example. Each new item has, without fail, had a negative effect on the house's inhabitants. SCP-1122-1 has frequently been seen drinking, lamenting how things should be better, while SCP-1122-3 and SCP-1122-4 have become more introverted and are rarely seen outside their rooms.